let's understand dependency injection to know about dependency injection let's take an example we are going to develop an application for reporting by using reporting tools like jasper bot or open report to do the same our application program has to interact with the reporting tool to generate the reports now let's consider we are developing the reports using jasper which have its own way of defining report if my application program directly assesses this reporting tool then it will be tightly coupled that is if tomorrow i have to replace jasper with bird my application program has to change this is the disadvantage of using tightly coupled solution shown is the second possible solution for the given problem in this instead of application program directly interacting with the report tool we make use of one more class known as report to helper which will interact with the reports but the problem with this approach is if i have to change the tools my report tool helper has to change but this implementation is better than the earlier implementation since my application program does not change directly hence the tightly coupled application is now broken down into loosely coupled because of this helper class shown is one more possible solution to the given problem in this case we make use of a configuration file to configure which type of reporting tools we are going to use thus the application program will make use of this configuration file to get the report generated from this specific reporting tool thus in order to change the reporting tool i just have to change the configuration file my application program will not get affected this is an example of loosely coupled application and the configuration file gives us something known as dependency injection in this case the application program makes use of the configuration file and it is the responsibility of the framework who is supporting this application to get support to various reporting tools thus the application program just says what he wants and the configuration file gets it done for him this is an example of dependency injection now comes the question what is dependency injection dependency injection is an object oriented techniques since we are making use of object oriented programming language for developing our frameworks it is a design pattern which is one of the best possible ways to solve a given problem in the case of dependency injection the concern being inverted is the process of obtaining the needed dependency in the above example of reporting solutions which we saw we were dependent upon the reporting tool for generating our reports and the process of obtaining it is delegated to the configuration file and the framework supporting it thus we directly do not interact with the process of obtaining the needed dependency but this is done by the supporting dependency injection framework as a result of this we don't directly interact with any component and as a result we get loosely coupled application following are the advantages of using dependency injection as we saw there is a complete decoupling of execution of certain tasks from the implementation while making use of the configuration file and the underlying framework we don't have to worry how it is implemented we just have to make use of it to get the required results secondly replacing systems will have no side effect on the other systems in the above example which we saw it is quite easy to replace any of the reporting tool with any of the competitors tool in case required to improve performance thus we can easily replace any of the system without affecting the other systems each system which is a part of the overall bigger system can focus on what it is designed for without worrying about integration or other features
since this is automatically supported by dependency injection. The system makes no assumption about what other systems do or should do. It mainly focuses on what it should do rather than thinking what others should do. After understanding the above dependence injection, we are now ready to see what is spring framework with supposed dependency injection.